What's going on all you rad people? We're gonna talk about the top five repairs I think you should be able to make. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh. Oh. Whew. All right, so yeah, let's get into this. First off, probably the easiest thing you should be able to do is replace your own brake pads. It's a super simple thing to do, but if you need help doing it, there's going to be a link right here that'll show you how to do it. It'll probably be either Park Tool or GMBN. Most of these videos will probably be that, but those those guys will definitely be able to help you out. I'm, I, I, I'm not a very good instructor, so I'll probably just send you over there. Next up, I think you should be able to do your own chain, taking it off and put it back on. Um, it's not that hard, especially if you have a, a tool. There's one tool you need and it, it allows you to break away the master link and to reattach the master link or quick link, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's super easy. You can also get the little pin breaker to shorten your chain. If you do get a new chain, you may need to change how long it is. So uh, same thing, top left, you guys can go see a video over there and uh, they'll be able to help you do it. Next up, this is a very important one. You should be able to replace your own tire or inner tube. So if you're out on the trail and you get a flat tire, what are you gonna do? You better know how to take that tube out and swap it out with a new one if you're not running tubeless. Or you know, if you get a tubeless uh, flat tire and you gotta throw a tube in there to get home. Same thing, link right up there. It'll take you right over there and uh, it'll show you how to do it. Now we're getting into a little bit more complicated things. Ideally, I think you should be able to fine tune your shifting by yourself. You can take it to a shop and they can do it, but it's fairly easy to do if you have some instructions and that's to adjust the barrel knobs on your shifters to adjust your shifting tension. And by doing that, if you tighten it, it'll help make it go up higher into the cassette. If you loosen it, it'll keep it from going up higher. And trying to find that perfect spot where it, where it won't go up or down and it shifts properly can take some time, but it's generally it's not too bad. So I think you should be able to do that. And, to go with that, you should be able to replace your own derailleur cable. And that's super easy to do. I mean, you, I did it in the live stream with Lewis here just uh, a couple weekends ago. And that's just, but you do want to be careful doing that. There are some tips and tricks that you need to know to make it easy. And so same thing, go check out GMBN video or Park Tools video and they'll be able to help you out. The last but not least thing, and all this is in no particular order really, but you should be able to adjust your derailleur hanger by yourself or replace it. The tool to adjust it can be a higher one-time cost, but in the long run, it's worth it to have. You don't necessarily have to go with the expensive part tool one. There are different options on the market. I mean, it's literally just a rod and like a couple O-rings and that's basically how you adjust it. So all in all, it's pretty easy. I'm going to have a link to GMBN and Park Tools videos down in the description below and they'll be able to help you out. But I just think these are ones that you guys should know how to do. Well, all you rad people, what do you think? Is there something I missed? Is there something that you think other people should know how to do? Leave a, leave a comment down below and uh, let's see what you got.